We just got gas in the driver's head car. We're gonna talk about this. I got both hands on the wheel. This would be a really great tutorial because it's definitely very dangerous out here. So when I'm coming up to the edge, I'm looking at traffic. You see me turning. If you don't look in the direction, you will pull out in front of a car and fail your test. So we accelerate in the lane. It is very wet out here. So we're trying to be safe and trying to really be aware of what's going on. So as you can see, it's not the greatest day. So you're gonna learn a lot today. I want you to sit back and enjoy this. And at the end, ask questions. So we're maintaining good speed car is good we have good windshield wiper blades and usually a lot of beginners don't even think about this until they really need them a heavy downpour uh, winter time when you really really need the wipers so we're going to get into this today we're going to be as safe as possible and we're going to get out and tackle this rain drive i'm getting over to the right and i want to squeeze my brakes we have a red light we have to stop and look clear then we go in the first lane keep your turn as short as possible a lot of beginners miss this step they end up failing their test pulling out in front of a car and then the instructor the tester has to terminate the test don't be that person that gets their test terminated it's a mental mind focus uh, it, the weather is not as perfect as it appears or looks it's really a very dangerous day but typically these are the days that drivers will get out on the road and learn so i want you to learn today i want you to ask questions and feel good okay i have to get over to the left lane i'm going to squeeze my brakes if i go in too fast i'm going to crash and i'm going to squeeze my brakes don't run yellow lights if you run yellow lights you're going to end up becoming a dangerous condition and your tester will look at you you see the blinking yellow now we're good we move up to the middle we yield for traffic and we wait for a gap here's our gap now don't hit that gas real hard you do you're going to spin out and go into the ditch i had a young man go into the ditch one week ago because he came and went really fast on this curve ease into the curve but the next hazard is all of this traffic so we got to go slow let the car handle the road connect because if I hit the gas right now I'm gonna spin out in this SS Impala I'm accelerating and then I pick up this is the most dangerous thing out merging right now we want to get settled in we're gonna get over one more lane to the left and I want to get into the middle lane and let the car start eating not physically eating but connect with the road ROAD so I'm sitting smoothly I'm in the middle lane. I can see traffic to the left, which you should be able to see. I can see traffic to the right, which you should be able to see. So we have vision in all directions. I highly recommend you as a new driver, beginning driver, new to the United States or new looking at this, sit and relax and get in that middle lane and feel comfortable. It takes a lot of time. Over time, drivers get to relax. They become a risk, a danger. You don't want to go close to the line. The line is you speeding. The line is not doing maintenance. The line is not taking care of your car. Your tires are the most important thing. And if you don't realize that, you come and drive with me right now, you'll say, wow, I'm gonna get over one lane to the left. They took my space. And now I'm gonna continue. So now you understand where traction or the coefficient of friction is critical because when I have good tires, I can squeeze brakes and have a shorter stopping distance just like this truck. If I don't have good tires, I'm gonna spin. And when you spin, you lose. You lose your life, you lose, you can have an accident, and you lose and destroy your car. We're not trying to take an L if we don't have to. Losses happen all the time. Losses happen in school when you don't have for a test. Losses happen when you didn't make the NFL roster. We want to prepare for good driving. We have a line to the left. That is our warning line. We're here in North America. We have a line all the way to the right. That is white. And that is the edge line. We're at about 60 miles an hour. The speed limit here is 75 but you can get a ticket for driving faster than the conditions on the road. So I want you to look at this, understand 
the pedagogy and understand how I'm going to teach you and what you need to pick up from this. If we go faster than the flow, we're going to end up crashing. If we go slower than the flow, people will end up tailgating you and road raging you. So in a way, the pack is kind of pushing us. It is getting bad out here. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not nervous. I have a little bit of trepidation, a little bit of anxiety. But what you need to do is understand how my approach is to learning on the drive. I want to take you through the process. I'm staying in the grooves of the road. You should be able to see the groove to the left. That's that groove right here and the groove to the right. If you get out of the grooves, you're going to spin out. And that will cause you to have a crash or roll the car over. I'm scanning traffic, we're moving pretty good. We're at about 68 miles an hour. We have to take a fuel. We're at about 2,000 RPMs. The transmission is geared for performance. I did not build this car. We bought it for the channel. So you need to know the limitations and the strengths of the type of car you're driving. You can see that ambulance to the right. You see all that water spraying? That means it's getting worse out here. That means if you go too fast, you're going to be a fool and crash. And what are they saying? Fools are all around us. So don't be that person to get caught up in that situation. Make small steering inputs. Be as smooth as you can. I'm lifting my foot a little bit. I'm very consistent on the driving. Now I'm squeezing with the ball of my foot. Here's another pro tip. Wear thin sole shoes. This allows you to feel the brake, to feel the gas. We're in North America, 90% of our cars are automatics. I need you to understand this. Next, 10% of cars are manual. So if I was in a manual right now, I would be in fifth gear or sixth to have better fuel economy. I'm looking ahead. I'm trying not to drift to the left because if I look at the wall to the left, guess what? I'm ahead to the wall to crash. If I start looking down, like a lot of beginners do, look ahead. This is for your beginner. Now we got a curve. I'm gonna lift my foot and go in slow. You see how smooth the car is and I can barely see. This is your typical drive. That little cart to the right, that could fall off. Do not be near large trucks, carrying materials. You can see how bad it's getting. Visibility is low. I'm trying to stay in the groove. We have a semi truck to the right. Stay out of the no zones. The no zones are left side, right side, front, and back. So you hear this truck and you see it. Stay away from semi trucks. Sorry I'm raising my voice. A truck is really big and you'll get caught in the vortex and be sucked in. I'm trying to hold the wheel with both hands. And I'm trying to be smooth right now. The truck ahead of me is about 80. I'm at about 70. So I'm taking my time. Don't chase other cars because you're going to end up going 75, 78. You should see all those brake lights popping up. Someone could have spun out. Someone could have crashed. Look ahead. Plan early. I'm still in the grooves with brake lights are on, so I'm soft on the brakes. And I'm going in real easy, and we've lost 30 miles an hour. So now I'm looking left, middle, right. Left, middle, right. What's going on? What's happening? Trying to squeeze the brakes. Keeping my space cushion. If you're just popping in at this, we're talking about driving in the rain. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach adults, I teach teens. 
this is bringing you value, give it a thumbs up. Keeping space, looking ahead, not trying to get aggressive on this truck ahead of me because that truck has a bigger vortex than I do and it's gonna pull me into the truck, it's gonna pull me left or right. Keep space so you do not have that vortex to pull you. I was watching a video, a Tesla that was almost about to run out of charge was in the vortex and actually they were able to win draft. We are driving on a road. This is not the NASCAR where they're going 175 to 190 miles an hour. We have a low output motor, less than 400 horsepower, but that's still enough power to get you in trouble. See, I'm squeezing the brakes real easy. Those NASCAR engines need to last a thousand miles going 8,500 RPMs. Our motor needs to last hundreds of thousands of miles turning less than 3,000 RPMs. Even though we have the gearing to turn the motor higher, we don't want to put the wear on the engine. We want to be smooth and predictable. We're at 40 miles an hour to speed limit 70. If you don't understand the dynamics, you will have an accident and the insurance company will love you because the insurance company looks for drivers who have accidents. I mean, if you're watching this, have accidents, or you have anxiety, or you timed out of the driver's education system. I'm here to help you get a plan. I'm squeezing my brakes again. If I slam them, I'm going to get rear-ended. Be soft, check your mirrors, be smooth. You see how smooth the car is? I really don't want to crash. And I'm really very nervous because I'm looking at traffic behind me. The gray truck is getting over. The vortex is pulling me a little bit. I told you how this car is geared. It's got high performance parts in here. I'm going to gradually pick up. But if I hit it too hard, I'm going to slide into this white GMC and hit it. And I don't want to have a conflict with this driver. You always want to analyze the environment. You see traffic marching on squeezing my brake and I want to see the rear of the tires on this GMC. I'm scanning left, middle, right. As you're watching this, you need to imagine I'm here with driving with miles and we're doing this lesson. So we're at about 30, the speed limit at 70. This is downtown Houston, downtown Detroit downtown LA, downtown North Carolina, where Mr. Beast lives. I met him before. He gave me some good information. We have some good things coming. I'm keeping my space and taking my time. A lot of beginners will say, what? What's going on? Why is everyone going, to, going so slow? Analyze what you see. It's raining. We're in a large metropolitan area. What don't you understand? Don't put us in danger. Don't put the vehicle in danger. And I don't want to have to file a police report. Because I've had clients crash, they fail, you have to file a police report, and you will pay for the damages. So we don't want to be in this situation. I've been in crashes before, the clients have put the car into the ditch, and we have to have a tow road. See, I have an open gap but I'm not going to speed because I'll hit this truck ahead of me. We're still at 30 miles an hour. We have an hour drive ahead of us. We have to negotiate safety. Safety is no accident. When I first started teaching driver's ed, my boss said this. I laughed at him. What do you mean safety is no accident? But the third year in, I realized these adults and teens can't drive or they're scared or there's anxiety. What I've learned is you got to be honest with adults, honest with teens. This is no joke. This is really stressful right now. And you're seeing this because I'm going to educate you. I want to enlighten you and I want to make you a better driver. I'm trying not to turn the wheel. The road's bumpy. There's a lot of water. People are aggressive. So I'm just trying to stay calm, 
and be consistent. And that's what I want to tell you. I want you to stay calm and be consistent. I'm pretty safe. Nine out of 10, I'm about a nine, right? Oh, you're welcome. I really want to just go live in the morning, go live on the way home, go live and just educate you. So I'm going to flip the screen back. And if you any, if there's anything you want to see or questions you want to ask, see I'm by this tanker truck. Don't hang around them. That's an accident waiting to happen. You see the shiny parts of the road? You hit that patch of water, you're going to hit the left and hit the wall. If I go too fast, the car's going to drift to the right. I'm going to sideswipe that white Ram 1500. I'm sorry, it's a 4x4. So I'm trying to be predictable. I'm not trying to be the fastest car out here because at this part, you're going to end up spinning. I'm squeezing my brakes early. This car is about 4,100 pounds. It's a 4,100 pound missile. So I don't want to cause an accident and I don't want to be in an accident. So other drivers may not like it. I would tell you if you're with me, hey, just take your time. Let's enjoy this. The car is sliding a little bit to the left. I'm just trying to make small steering adjustments. I'm squeezing my brakes real easy. Your tires and brakes are the most important. Also, during hazardous conditions like this, you want to drive with your headlights on. You want to see and be seen. Typically in the evening, I go live. Could be 6.30, could be 7.30. I go over some test prep answers. It's been very educational. I'm trying to stay smooth and be predictable. I'm going to get over one lane to the right. So I'm going to crash. I want you to see how smoothly the lane change is. Okay, because I've had clients slide and roll up on the embankment to the right. One day I had a client who was in a hurry to get back home because their mother was getting out of the hospital. They were going too fast on the curve. We spun out and did a 360. I was so scared, but the climb was too fast. We had too much air in the tire. So you gotta check your air pressure. And I'm trying to be as smooth as possible. Let me get over one more lane. And listen for sounds, that water sound, that shh, shh. That'll tell you you're going a little too fast. So we're trying to stay in the groove. Oh, you see how the car went to the left a little bit? Turn the wheel too much. And that'll make you panic and overcorrect. And they're going slower, so I gotta squeeze my brake. I think that's a Cadillac CTS Twin Turbo. You gotta know the type of cars that are around you. And now we've lost about 14 miles an hour. So if you're in the right lane, slow lane, you gotta drive slower. The middle lane is the smooth lane, you can drive faster. If you wanna go real fast, go to the left lane. But I'll start you out in this lane you will get cut up by cars and semi-trucks. So I'm just trying to have you be real smooth and easy. I'm not turning the wheel too much. I'm trying to stay in a groove. If I hug the right, I'm gonna hit water and I'm gonna spin. I don't wanna do that. And also the tinted windows on the CTS twin turbo, it's hard to see. We had a client that had tenant windows. They got a ticket. They got pulled over and they got a ticket. And this was in Dallas, Texas. So you want to make sure that your windows are not too dark because that's an equipment violation. So I'm maintaining speed. You can see brake lights popping on. I want to slow down. I want to check my mirror. You see all these brake lights and we're not paying attention. I'm gonna hit this CTS twin turbo. Don't wanna do that. See how smooth it is? We've already lost eight miles an hour. See them cut me off? 
dangerous. They don't care. I want you to see this. And if I slam brakes, I would hit them. So you see this for educational purposes. This gets scary. See, I almost hit them. And that brings a lot of emotions. They put me in danger and put themselves in danger. So I want you to see this. People don't care. And this is a 4,000 pound vehicle. If I would have hit brakes really hard, I would have hit them. On your road test, this happened to us and a client. The client panicked. I told them, relax. You have to be a defensive driver and anticipate nut jobs like this. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Jackson, I told you, go to Instagram, driving underscore with underscore miles, and you should be able to, you know, uh, DM me, but then we can reach out. So I'm also on Instagram, driving with miles, it's all lowercase, and then you can reach out there. So we're on this ramp. This guy cut us off, her lady, with the red tent and the red windows. It does not look nice. So I'm just trying to stay calm. I have a little bit of anxiety. The stop sign is for people on the service drive, not us. And we're by a hospital, so I understand people have lost their lives. People are not paying attention. You see them? They're in a hurry. That car to the left will throw us, car to the right will throw us off. And you have to learn, I wanna be real with you, you have to learn to stay in balance. And in this weather, we could do crazy. You're gonna flip your car. So I want you to stay in balance and stay calm, right? Um, stay in the groove. Be more consistent in your driving. Um, and I'm going to be putting out some digital products to help you pass your road test, to reduce anxiety when you drive, because I have that experience. I have a lot of professional development experience. So I'm gonna be putting out some courses, tutorials, digital products, and I'll be setting up a stand store where if you need to call me, we can set up a call, we can jump on the call, I'll figure out prices, and then I can help you get prepared for driving. How do I get my uh, TIP, my temporary instruction permit? How do I learn how to drive? So I have this crossover. I got it going real easy. If I turn too hard, I'm gonna roll the car. So I just need to quit playing and get these things done because I really think I can contribute to the community. So I'm coming up here and stopping. This is real dangerous. People don't use blinkers, they're in a hurry. I'm just gonna take my time. If you wanna be successful, you have to take your time. If you want to have an accident, then go ahead and be crazy. Here's my space. I got to come up and stop. They don't have a blinker on. My blinker's on. And then I go. I don't want to hit the water. I want you to hear this. See? I just hit the water. That's going to make me lose control. I don't want to lose control of the vehicle. Sorry about the bumps. We're here in part of the country where they don't take care of the infrastructure. There's a lot of warning signs here, guide signs here. If this is helpful, get a thumbs up. Look at all my content. I'm going to go live later this evening. Bye, guys.